you oh, you find yourself in a dark chamber. You don't see anything in any direction. You feel then a blinding white light pierces your gaze and you see the room has gone from pitch black to a pure white tiled room with Corinthian columns in each of the four corners. Before you are two statues, one masculine, the other feminine. And by masculine and feminine, I mean not gender, but body shape, basically. Like, mm -hmm. masculine, like Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he was a bodybuilder, and feminine, like a Final Fantasy hero. Gotcha. Okay. Do you, which one do you pick? Uh oh which one do I, uh, do I walk up to and touch? Yeah. Um, uh, it's probably the more the more feminine. I walk up to the to the yeah that one. The feminine. Mm-hmm. This the the feminine form encapsulates you as the masculine form crumbles into dust. You now have a feminine body, but no clear gender is defined yet. You also notice that. You, before it's touching the statue, you could see in all directions. Now you can only see forward. Binocular vision. Okay. Before you are two more statues. One clearly male, but feminine. The other clearly female, but feminine. Um, I will walk up to the, uh, the male one and uh, touch it. Same thing happens, you're, you are, but you're pulled into this one, and the female statue crumbles into dust. As you look at yourself, you, you are now fully male, m feminine, but from what you can tell, you don't have a defined race yet, you're just a being of luminous light. Which is rather intriguing. Yeah. And as you start... You're, you're probably looking at your hands, and as you look up, you see statues of every single possible race that has ever been released by 5th edition D&D. <laughs> okay. From Arakokra to, well, whatever is in the dead last now. Is that, like, Tiefling or something like that? Yeah. No, 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 it's Warforge. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, every every race that has ever been released is open to you. Uh, I woke up to the uh, ghost wise halfling. Well, and, no, uh, no, no, no. you just see a halfling. There's no okay, sub races. Okay, All right, no sub races. Okay, so I walk up to the halfling and uh, touch it. The other statues collapse into dust, and you are now a halfling. But before you are the the sub races of halfling. The stout. Lightfoot and Ghostwise? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so I'll step forward and uh, and touch uh, the uh, the face of the Ghostwise halfling. You are now a Ghostwise halfling who is completely nude, but it's okay. Whatever, nobody can see you. I'm pretty comfortable with that. <laughs> then, n you f then the whole room goes to dust, you fall, and you land in a dark, dank cave that's lit enough that you can see, because I believe halflings don't have dark vision. They don't. They do not. Okay. Yeah. And before you, you see a gargantuan dragon eye. Ah. And it is just looking at you. Not, well, not with malevolence. Not with benevolence. More intrigue. And kind of quizzical. I say hello. It says in this low, rumbling, almost cave shaking room, her voice choose. Now comes the fun part. <sighs> All right, let's see. Come on, book. Open. Oh, 
Don't you hate when the book refuses to open for you? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Alright. Before you, you see a table with all the following on it. A great axe. A lute. A holy symbol of unknown origin. A staff made of the four elements. A great sword. Hand wraps. A sword, a long sword, a shield, and plate mail. A long bow. A set of daggers and a hood. A vial of blood pulsating with magic. A contract written in a language you do not understand. An ancient musty tome pulsating with magical powers. And, a, and lastly, a voodoo doll with ethereal green energy around it. These are the 13 classes that have been released by Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. And I, uh, see, I get a sense that the staff is uh, is a druidy in essence, or is it more wizardry in, es in essence? Um, do druids get their powers from a book? No, the staff. Yeah, the staff is... Yeah, they're basically, uh, if you turn to page 45 in the PHB, you'll see I basically listed them down, from Barbarian down to Mystic. Okay, gotcha. Let's see. So, the fourth one I listed, the staff made of the four elements, yeah. that's Druid. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I'll walk up and, and pick up the staff. Interesting. After you pick up the staff, you find yourself surrounded by these golden orbs, each one depicting your life in a different way. One shows you as a noble who gave up and turned into um, turned to the ways of, the, of nature, you know, like noble among druid kind. Basically, these are the backgrounds. You see one for each one that's been released thus far. I, uh, I step forward to the uh, criminal orb and, uh, and, I guess, embrace it. Okay. And that will be... You then wake up to the sound of, well, merrymaking, bard songs, and before you, you see... Every race that you could ever possibly imagine having fun, making joy, and telling cracking jokes with one another, and having fun. You can tell the atmosphere is that of a tavern. You see kobolds dancing with gnomes, which is highly irregular. In fact, that shouldn't happen. Because kobolds and gnomes. Um, I would probably uh, join in, just dance and dance with them. Before you can even get out, you notice a tall, a by by your standards, a large uh, mug of you? ale or some other form of alcoholic beverage is before you, and next to you are your th three other friends. And that's where we'll be ending this little character creation.